Have you all seen those aesthetic dorm room tours in other colleges? Those that look amazing AF and pretty much looks like their own home. I actually planned to have my room look somewhat like these setups that I found on Pinterest. But then I remembered, I'm lazy. And considering how much I've been spending on other things like my new film camera as well as my keyboard, I think it's a good idea to keep the room haul expenditure to a minimum this time around. So with that, we are going to be transforming this room into this. And yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, but for real, here's what it's going to look like. Alright, so first up, I'm going to be showing y'all what a realistic dorm room would probably look like. I just came back from home and I didn't really pack up, so what you guys are going to be seeing is my room in its most raw state, and probably what it's going to be looking like for the majority of the semester. So yeah, let's start from the entrance. Ah, let's go! Hey, what up? What's up? Hello, what are you doing? Hello. The dorm room tour, bro. <laughs> uh, say hi to Kenji, yeah, my neighbor. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> so when you first enter my room, you're going to see that my room is not like the usual layout. What I did was that I shifted my bed such that it is perpendicular to the table over here. And essentially this gives me this boxy open space that I'm more fond of. Instead of the original layout which would only give you a rectangular gap. Over here we have like 6 shelves and as you can see, I'm kind of struggling to fill the space up because I don't know what to put there. As you can see there are like 2 empty shelves here right now. And on these shelves you might have seen there are a bunch of things there already. Some of it is like decor, like um, these alcohol bottles over here that I totally did not drink in hall because that's illegal. These bottles are purely for the aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. And next to my bed right here is the shelf where I like to put things that can double up as the core, as well as things that I kind of use on a daily basis, like um, this sanitizer over here, totally for keeping my hands clean from the mm, you know, and yeah, nothing else sus about it. Yeah. Also, in NUS Hall, we have two cupboards over here. This is where I like to put my clothes. Very nicely folded and organized. And this cupboard over here is where I dump everything else. Uh, yeah, this is the cupboard where I hide most of the mess in my room. And on the floor, you just have a lot of random things lying on the ground. Like my bag, this charging station over here. As well as some stuff that I bought from Ikea and from home to redecorate this place. So yeah, this is pretty much it for what a realistic dorm room would probably look like. I'm just gonna show you guys a bit more b-roll of what the mess is like. So you can kind of get a gauge of how unorganized I really am. And with that, let's move on to ideation. In general, I'm looking for a clean and spacious look. The last time I stayed in hall, I had a room that people kind of described as warm and cozy. But honestly, it was just packed to the brim with a lot of things that I didn't really use. I think the amount of stuff that I brought this time around is less, but it's actually still a lot more than what I thought I would bring. But we'll try. So I went on to YouTube as well as Pinterest for some inspiration before realizing that I was too bored to watch the whole video, as well as realizing that I would probably need to sell a kidney to an illegal organ market to kind of afford these things. You know, after how much I spent already, I have pretty much exhausted all the funds I gained from the SOC video. And yeah, I can't totally follow these Pinterest setups as well because my furniture is kind of fixed in place so I just gotta make do with what I have. So how I went about planning out my layout was that I took some photos with my iPad and I did some doodling on my notes app to kind of visualize how it would probably look like and you know, play around with the balance, the equilibrium, blah blah blah, all that stuff. And once I was done, I also planned out a shopping list for some things that I might need to buy and also some things that I could possibly bring from home. And like I mentioned, I also went to Ikea to buy some stuff like this lamp and two cable management boxes. Hey, hey, it's Amelia guys, look at her. Popping off on YouTube at the moment. Hey! Popping off, eh? Popping, Popping off. off. Popping off. Popping off. <laughs> you want to help me clean my room? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll have the fun all to myself. Oh, I'm all glass. This is just a little teaser of what's to come. A little omogus. Alright, so I just finished up my dinner and now it's on to the fun part. Cleaning. I think I'll try and clean and get all this done by 10pm if that's possible. If not, I'll probably have to continue on this tomorrow and I think I really want to avoid that. But yeah, um, time to clean and it's time lapse time. As you can see, this is after mopping the whole floor. <laughs> I guess it's not that dusty because I've been cleaning pretty much every two days. <laughs> so.
So yeah, I'm pretty much done with the revamp and not gonna lie, I'm really really satisfied with what I have at the moment. It's not perfect, it doesn't really look like any of the setups that I kind of shortlisted on Pinterest and in its pristine state, it's probably not gonna last for a few weeks so... But you know what? I'm happy now. Before we go into the room tour, I do want to give a few shout outs. First up, I want to thank Esper Lights for providing me all the LED stuff. As you can see up there, they have provided me with some LED strips and, and it honestly has added a different vibe into my room. I personally do not like the default lights in the hall, from this desk light to the room light over there. So having these LED strips really gives me a good alternative to the default lighting that I have. They also sent me the Amogus LED light and they also have other designs like a cloud and the lightning that you see pretty often in other people's setups. I think I'll have a 15 off voucher code which you can use to get 15% off their products. It will probably be posted on Instagram in the near future. So do follow me on the gram if you want to have a discount on Esper Lights products. Thanks again Ryan and Esper Lights for sending these over. I also want to thank Mr. Anthony for sending over these Luke key switches over. He's a member of my Discord channel. Do join the Discord channel by the way. And yeah, he just so kindly sent me these Luke key switches which takes up a lot of effort by the way. And the difference is that my keyboard is going to sound a lot fuckier. But you know what? I'll just put on a little ASMR test to show you guys the difference. I hope you guys enjoyed that portion because I sure did. So yeah, it's like 3am right now and I'm going to be turning in for tonight. So I'll just show you guys what the setup is like in the morning and probably formally introduce you guys to some new additions to my desk setup. So yeah, see you in the morning. Alright, good morning my friends. It is pouring outside right now and I am freezing. Let's dive straight into the room tour. When I designed my room, I wanted to have form and function. But in the end, I kind of just winged it and did whatever I wanted. So let's start off with the new tech additions to the room. Firstly, we have this monitor by Asus, like you guys saw in the college move-in video. And no, I don't buy a fresh monitor every time I move into the hall. This is my investment in a second monitor, so that I'll have dual screens when I eventually move to a desktop setup. And so far, I feel a lot more color accurate than the one I have at home. Next up, we have this Keycon K8 keyboard. You guys already saw it just now, but yeah. The K8 is a TKL keyboard, meaning 10 keyless. And basically, it just means that it doesn't have the numpad. Turns out, I actually use the numpad quite a bit, and I'm starting to miss it. But yeah, I might be customizing the keycaps to fit my color scheme in the future. Just my descent into financial doom by the impending dangers of customized mechanical keyboards. Thirdly, we have the major... But yeah, thirdly, we have the major Marshall 4 headphones. I bought these a few weeks back because I wanted some on-ear headphones to do some editing and use for general leisure. I, I didn't really want over-ear headphones because it makes my ears sweat. This major 4 also allows me to have a wired connection, which kind of eradicates potential audio lag when editing videos. The sound quality is crisp, but there are definitely better ones out there, like the Sony WH-1000MX4. Sony Singapore, if you need a sellout for your camera and audio gear, and when not in use, I hang it on these very cheap hooks that I bought from a bookstore. Not gonna lie, I'm quite proud of this little DIY project. I wanted to get the Scardis from Ikea, but I realised that I did not really need it. So I just bought these cheap hooks and voila! I can hang my headphones, my mask, as well as my bag at the bottom. And as you can see, this is where all the money that I earned from SOC went into. Evidently, I'm not really good at holding back when it comes to buying tech. As a wise friend once told me, money can always earn back. 
I'm using the same laptop stand that I had from the tech setup video and I also brought my Nintendo Switch over in the event that I have potential friends to play Super Smash Bros with. Spoiler alert, I actually do. I've had some visitors come up and play occasionally and it feels nice having a player 2 from time to time. And this is part of the reason why I wanted to stay in Hall. Not really the player 2 part, more of having friends, you know. <laughs> Moving on to the chair, we have this amazing ergonomic chair right here, coming in a neutral khaki colour. It has some reclinability, with the potential danger of falling over and getting a skull fracture. Unfortunately, this chair doesn't really have a lot of breathability, so my butt does get a little sweaty from time to time. It has decent lumbar support. It's a little curved at the back, uh, helping with your natural arch. Very budget friendly too, I spent a grand total of nothing when I moved it to hall. Shit aesthetics though. Overall, it's okay. You do get what you pay for. I'm just shit posting, guys. This chair is the default chair you have in the room. I'm gonna have a new chair soon, so do look out for that in a future video. I bought this Tanabi lamp from IKEA because I wanted a bedside lamp. It is great so far. It looks beautiful. It would have been better if I used an Edison bulb instead, but I'm not complaining. And the best part is that it can double up as lighting when I'm filming at night. I also brought this tray from home so that I have a spot where I can put all my essentials for the day. That's just something I do at home so that I don't misplace my items. I also bought two Romas from IKEA to help with cable management and it just makes my room look a lot more tidy without so many stray wires going around. As for the room decor, I kind of just winged it in this department. I mean, I'm not gonna go out and buy like 50 big plants and bring all of that to my room because that means I have to bring it back home when I eventually move out. I pretty much just went to find out what I could and just tried to fill out the spaces. One thing I want to highlight is this little Kirby corner that I placed on my shelf. One day, it might even become a Kirby shrine. My other shelves just have random items, including these Polaroid and film cameras, as well as these empty alcohol bottles. The top shelf has my toiletries and skincare products for easy access. And I also place my snacks on the far end on the top shelf so it's harder for me to reach. Lastly, I also have this corner that I really like, which has my Overwatch posters. And I think I bought these posters back in 2017 at AFA. And this is made by Raiko Art, who is one of my favourite artists back then. I also use these hooks on the back of the door to hold my, my bag, my umbrella, as well as my Space Eagle hoodie. As a, you know, daily reminder to keep sending it. The tower rack over here just holds my Shears Hall Windbreaker as well as my gym tower. And that's pretty much it for the dorm room tour. There are still some empty spots that I'm looking to fill up like space above my bed as well as the space right next to my desk setup. So yeah, that's it for the video. Do leave a like, sub if you loved it and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.